Now, do you think this is just stiff for, just from sitting for yeah. a while? It's going to break. Oh, oh it, it comes in good now. Oh, yeah. Because I just thought if you, if you move it back and forth a few times, loosen everything up. off of there now yeah yeah so we gotta get the center guide out that's also holding it together so there'll be a socket a nut in the center probably the tracks aren't got a whole socket go. go right in the top all right the first thing what they got to do is you got your center guide you've got your bolt and you've got a nut in here you have to come in here with extension socket take that nut off once that nuts off then you got your center guide block and you got your clamp on the other end. They will open up and then, then you pop your two end caps off. This one here. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be, eh? No, too big. What do you think of that? Is? How's the size wise? Yeah. How's the size? Uh, smaller. Yeah, I think what you're going to need, you're going to need a short socket with an extension. Yeah, so I can put your yeah, socket you can roll, on. You can roll the socket Smaller's onto on. it. I can get this. Eh? Seven eighths? Yeah. No, it's just a short socket. So you got short. Uh, deep's no good. Then once you have the center right? guide out, and that, that clamp part yeah, comes off, off, then we just, well, yeah. the wedge bolts are out. That's what these are here. These pop, oh, these will pop off on either side, then the track will just open up. A, yeah. And then it's just a matter of rolling the track back and yeah. out, out of the way. Just trying to see if it fits it. Get an idea though. No. I can't. measure. That won't fit on it? No, that's too small. Steve? Yeah? Yeah, we're looking at at least an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter? At least. Sorry? At least an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter, okay. Yeah, so we need a short socket. Okay. The shortest inch and a quarter I've ever seen. So I'm flying in the See, I can't get that in there to try it on there. pretty short. Yeah, let's try him. I'm just trying it up here so I can... No, it's not not even close. Too small? Yeah. Like, I, I had a inch and three... So, you mean two... two? That's inch and a quarter? Yeah. Yeah, it's too small. I here? Think, yes. Or here? No, no, the actual size. Okay, so it's inch and... Five it's either five sixteen or three eighths. I bet you it's. Yeah. I think it's three eighths. Uh, John. Okay. Yeah. Three I, eighths. I, inch and three eighths. That's inch and quarter. That's what John gave me. Yeah. Inch and quarter. Yeah. Oh, they should. Well, gonna get, you're not going to get the socket through the hole here. No. Right. So you got to kind of fish the you socket in. You will get a three quarter drive the, extension. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's exactly but we need a short ass socket. Does it have enough room to undo the nut and get the socket out? No. Well, you're going to be able to do thing, it. The whole thing will come off, right? Yeah, you've got to basically undo the whole thing and work your way right off and pull this whole piece off. Let it come Why out. can't we zip this cut off the end of the right socket right and make it shorter? Yeah. yeah. What's that? Zip cut off the end of the socket so then it'll. We can if we think uh, yeah. if we got the right size. Yeah, what if we got the right size? Yeah, that's yeah. It. give me one but, but if 516 small, fit 3 eighths is bigger. Yeah, this is too small, right? Oh, too small. No, 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 no. This is this, this, this. Okay, on. It looks like you've got different nuts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not that I've been looking. But the. Well, look uh, that down, this is nice. kind of personal, though. No? Yeah. <laughs> I've got our finest is small. The best part of the whole thing is. They got castle nuts. <laughs> he's he's like when I realize he's filming this, right? Well, well probably. Let's get a couple of drinks and talk say, more about yeah, this. Say, <laughs> say hi to you two. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Great. If we put a longer extension in there and use one of the impacts, that right up. Yeah, my go. It's pretty tight, though. Oh, no. Well, well, I brought over, I, I did over a couple one inch impacts. Okay, all around the inside of the what we're doing today is we're taking the tracks off the uh, M4A2. Um, 
we're going to put uh, another set of brand new tracks on them, and then this set of tracks is going to go to my friend uh, Dave in uh, New York for a tank they're working on down there. So we're sharing the wealth. So what we got to do is get the tracks apart and then get them flopped out, rolled up, and on the way. And that tank needs all the inner road wheels taken off, sandblasted, painted. Um, so I've been sort of putting it off, but. This, this is a good reason. Yeah, it's erupted. This is gonna work better than Captain. Oh, the door off. You need some oil for your gun? No, it's not. It's not a matter. Of, oh, hang on, hang on. It's just. Uh, Sound good. No, you got no air. You got like what it what it is is you got like a little air nozzle. Air nozzle? Yeah, just stick it. See how much air how much air pressure you got going here? Because uh, it feels like you've got like maybe 130. 30. You got like maybe 30 here. gun for the loop, the loop gun, gun loop. center track guide and that was the clamping device that goes over the two cross pins in the track cleat so that goes through sandwiches onto the pins and this big inch and five sixteenths nut we had the socket in there to, open, to take it out but you can see how much it was straining because these nuts are made to be self-locking and they lock all the way out yeah, so now, now we can split well, the track. We'll put one on one side because we just aren't going to quite be able to catch that one, I don't think. Okay. So it's got to span between this one and this one. Okay, because we're taking this one out? Exactly. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. But you know, I'll be honest with you, there's not a lot of tension on that. We could probably knock it out. Maybe we should try first. I'll get a long pin and see there if we can just tap it out. Sounds good. There it goes, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one. Bingo. Ooh, now what? Is it gonna take off and hit that bin over there? Should I move that bin? No, I don't think. No, it won't until we start bringing it forward. And if we don't, if we don't try to pull the track, if we just pull the tank, they should fold up on each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, solid. Oh, yeah. The top one's going. I'm getting a good angle on this side. <laughs> All right. Nothing. We got to get that tooth under this one and this tooth under this one. The 
this is, a, this is the more uh, kind of the current issue track jack, something that the US military would use. I believe it's US made. Um, this end, you'll see, is set up for a socket, a uh, three quarter drive socket. So you can actually uh, drive that with a socket wrench or an impact gun. Uh, and then what it does is it, it, it pinches this clamp. So as you turn the, uh, as you turn that screw, this will start to tighten up. And what these hooks do is they hook into the tracks uh, right here. Uh, this is what's called an end connector. So basically that hook will go between that and that, and we'll suck that together. And what that does is it takes the tension off the track because you want to open the track. Uh, you want to break track right here. So what you do is you'll, you'll, put the, you'll take the wedge bolts out, which hold the connectors on. You'll suck the tracks together with the jack, and then you'll knock the connectors off. And as you loosen the track jacks, the tracks will, will open up. Um, these being live tracks, they have quite a bit of uh, uh, tension to them. Uh, because they're kind of, with the rubber bushings, they're, they're, um, they're kind of formed uh, in the shape they are as they go around the tank. So they have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, uh, recoil action when, uh, when you open them. This is actually an original uh, uh, World War II track jack that we got from our friend uh, uh, Ken uh, out in Calgary. And this is the track jack that you would have had uh, the Commonwealth, uh, you know, possibly the U.S. I'm not sure exactly this one is made, but it's a uh, it's an Allied Forces one. Um, uh, looks like it was made in Wisconsin, so very likely the same track jacks the U.S. Army would have used. Um, so it's the exact same principle. It's a sliding clamp on a big worm on a big worm screw right here, and instead of using an actual um, tool attachment, they just put a bar in here, and this is actually a socket. So it uh, it, it ratchets like a uh, it ratchets like a socket and then you just lift this little brass fixture and turn it the other direction and then it'll lock in the teeth the other way to loosen. So this is how you tighten and loosen. You want to be under this one and then the next further one down. I don't have it. I'm out of throat there. You're out of throat? Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, you're out. Okay, then just squeeze, squeeze um, the other side over here, Jay. We don't need two then. We'll squeeze this together over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally moves. Talk to me. Run it in reverse. Wow. Yeah, exactly. 